Hello everybody, it's Bordrick Sodoff here, and this is my assault rifle review. Well, not review, but guide for Black Ops 2. Zombies. We're starting off with an M8A1. Very effective gun in zombies, even though it's got a burst fire. Look at that go. It's really fast. Look, if you get a semi-auto assault rifle in the box, it's not worth it. They're not powerful enough and they're too slow. So what you want to do is you just want to spray all your bullets into the zombies before you pack a punch, as it saves a lot of points. I'll go on to the pack a punched version of this next. I pack a punched this gun once, and it is called the Micro Raider. Alright, it's got some symbols of sight, and it and I only did this once and it comes with a red dot sight. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. Red dot sights are better than iron sights in zombies. Easier to aim down, and they give you a better view. Not that it matters, but I'm saying I prefer iron sight over a normal sight. And I think it might improve the round burst. Yeah, I think it's gone from three to four or something but and it gives you a lot more ammo so this gun is highly recommended I'll give you some gameplay with it here we go it looks nice add double points good thing they're on Look at that how easy it is to aim. You don't want it. You can't have it any easier than that. Unless you've got dead shot daiquiri. That's the best. I love that perk. They should have it in this game. I know there's like a perma perks, but it's not the same. It doesn't even do anything. Since I play on PC, dead shot daiquiri just gives it auto aim, and it's really good. But that is obliteration of the zombies there. Look how good it is. Can't get... Can't ask for a better gun. Unless it's like a wonder weapon of some sort. By the way, for the people who don't know, you only go down with five hits with Juggernaut on. Generally. Unless you've got that perma perk Juggernaut, that means six. Hope you liked this. Gameplay and I'll go on to more attachments later. Hello everybody, I'm back and let's go through some attachments we'll get in this gun. Let's go. I've got 10,000 points to pack a punch. And one zombie chasing me, so that works out well. Let's see what we get. Oh, nice. Grenade launcher. Let's see how well that works. Alright. So far, not good, but yeah, I know that's the... I know it has to go a certain distance. Let's have a look. Yeah, it works fine. It just needs to go a fair bit to do anything, but it's good. This seems like a good attachment. Let's go again. Let's see what else we get. Hopefully something nice. Oh, nice. Millimeter scanner. Yeah, if you want mate, instead of a red dot sight, take it. It looks nice. Doesn't matter too much. It's a nice attachment to have on your gun. What do we have here? Target finder. I would never ever recommend this target finder in zombies. There's no point, it slows you down, look at that. You've got no view of what's going around you and it sucks. So I do not recommend the target finder. Let's see what else we get. We've got that again. If 
Hopefully we get the grenade launcher. That would be great. No, we get this. Damn it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out. There are all the attachments for the assault rifles as this gun's compatible with all of them. Hope you enjoyed this video and if it helped you please like and if you want to see any more of my videos please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I'll do more Black Ops 2 videos. Anyway guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. See you later.